Hey there folks, got a triples battle for you today, it's against a random Wi-Fi opponent, and as you see this guy loves his dragons, he's running three of them, um, so, and in addition he's running a Titar, a Sceptile, and a Lucario, kind of an interesting uh, team I guess, uh, I, this guy's from Argentina as I recall, um, and I was just happy to get the match, I actually, this is the first Pokemon battle that I've had in a really long time, uh, so anyway, I, I hope you noticed the custom sprite hack. I will put some credit in the description as to who did that uh, you know, that sprite sheet. Anyway, lead off with Musharna, Rotom, Frostform, and Lantern. <laughs> His Sceptile sets up Sunny Day after he sends out Tyranitar. So my guess is that he didn't actually want to run a Sand Team, but he hasn't gotten a Green World Larvitar yet. I mean, that's just a guess. I really have no idea what's going on here. Anyway, Blizzard hits the two Pokemon that matter, uh, which is pretty good considering 50% accuracy in the sun. So Sceptile goes down, and thanks to a crit, Dragonite goes down too. So that's really excellent, because I didn't want to have to worry about that Dragonite, and... Well, I mean, Sceptile could have gone for Energy Ball or something. Anyway, uh, Tyranitar apparently doesn't have Crunch or anything. Well, the best he can do is Stone Edge, which even with the crit does not take out my Musharna. Lantern, poor Lantern, has no target. Musharna is successfully able to get off the Trick Room, and this is basically good game. I mean, I'm exaggerating slightly, but now that the Trick Room is up, based on the Pokemon he has, I'm really feeling pretty confident here, and actually I'm a little surprised that my opponent didn't disconnect. I'm actually really grateful that my opponent doesn't, didn't disconnect. So anyway, I, re I withdraw Musharna here. Gonna go ahead and send out Steelix, just because, you know, Musharna's done its job, no point leaving it at him. And I really can't actually do anything since the only attacking move is Psychic, and both Pokemon on that side of the field are Dark-type. Flygon is going to die to a 4x effective um, Ice Beam, no problem. Lantern is interestingly the slowest of, well, except for Steelix, the slowest of my uh, two Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I mean, that actually makes a lot of sense because Rotom isn't particularly slow. Anyway, go for the Blizzard. It hits Hydreigon, which is great, that's the only Pokemon I cared about hitting. Uh, super effective. Uh, 120 base power, although uh, maybe that's down to 90 thanks to the fact that it's triples. The point is I take it out. Great for me. Out, out now is going to come Lucario. He's down to two Pokemon. Steelix being the slowest Pokemon on the field. Goes for the Earthquake. It's only going to hit his Tyranitar. It's going to be super effective and stab. Only does about half. But that's to be expected. I mean, I don't think I invested too heavily in Steelix's attack. Anyway, go for the Scald against Lucario. Doesn't do very much. Uh, his Tyranitar goes for Earthquake. The only Pokemon that's going to hit is Steelix. That's really okay. Steelix has amazing defense. Doesn't really care about that too badly. Going to go for the Discharge here. Uh, both, one of my, both of my Pokemon are immune to it. Uh, his Pokemon are not. And they're going to both take that hit rather hard, although neither is going to die this turn. Stone Edge here is going to break Lantern's Balloon, but other than that, I mean, it didn't really hurt me too much. Lucario now goes for the Extreme Speed against my Lantern. Uh, I mean, if Stone Edge didn't do that much, Extreme Speed's not going to do that much either. I go for the Gyro Ball against Tyranitar just to mix it up and take out his Tyranitar. So that's great. Uh, that's another KO, and now he's down to his last Pokemon. Gonna go ahead and hit it with a Skull. I was actually expecting this to KO, although I actually should have gone for a T-Bolt. Uh, but I get the Burn Hack, so that's great. Although it doesn't really matter because Rotom was gonna go for Discharge anyway, and so that is going to kill him. So that is good game. Oh yeah, Lantern actually recovers up some health, so that's great. So great game, random Wi-Fi opponent. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for not disconnecting. Um, it's always nice to have the occasional random Wi-Fi battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks.